Breaking overnight now, a church in Connecticut catches fire and crews from Rhode Island were called in to help fight the flames. This is actually the second day in a row where there has been a late night fire at a New England church. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Pixoto is live in our newsroom with those details. Good morning, Danielle. Well, the fire happened in Thompson, Connecticut, which is actually only 10 minutes from the Rhode Island state line. Now, this was the scene when crews arrived around 10 o'clock last night. I spoke to the fire chief earlier this morning, and he says 25% of the church was engulfed in flames when crews arrived. Now, it happened at the Thompson Congregational Church, which again is in Connecticut. The local fire chief tells me crews didn't clear the scene until just after 3 o'clock this morning. He says crews from at least 10 different fire companies assisted at the scene, including firefighters from West Gloucester and the Providence Canteen. Two Massachusetts departments from Webster and Dudley also assisted. The chief tells me one firefighter was treated for smoke inhalation, but no one else was injured, and no one was inside the church at the time the fire broke out. The church has been a community landmark for centuries as it was built in the 1700s. Now, last night's fire comes just one day after the scene in Lebanon, New Hampshire, late Wednesday night after flames tore through the First Baptist Church, which was built in the 1860s. Firefighters say the church is a total loss and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Now, we've learned there are several additional hazards crews face when fighting fires in churches. We had heavy fire in the steeple, which, you know, is a pretty significant collapse hazard. There's a 1,600-pound uh, um, church bell up in that tower. So you've got to worry about those kinds of things as hazards. And as of about an hour ago, I was told the fire marshal was at the scene in Thompson, Connecticut, looking to investigate why the fire sparked. So stay with us all day for updates on that situation. Live in the newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.